Martin, let's look back at that game against Sheffield United and your goal. Um, is that the best goal you scored? It's the best I've scored in a long time, yeah. I mean, when you when you picked up the ball, was there any, ever any doubt of what you were going to do, try and do? Uh, I meant to shoot, but then I saw the two players coming into block, so I chopped it instead. Uh, and then it sort of opened up the defence and won me one, went past him and left foot. What was that feeling like? Oh, it was a great feeling. Um, just hearing the fans in the background and celebrating with the teammates, yeah. And that's what loan moves are about, aren't they? Playing in games that matter. Yeah, definitely. I hope I'll get many more of those games. Did that, I mean, obviously you, you're staying here now until the end of the season. That gives you a great opportunity, doesn't it, to play more games? Yeah, for sure. Um, what, what have you learned so far in this time away from West Ham? Uh, I've le learned a different style of play. Um, I've learned um, different things from Graham, which because uh, every manager can teach you different things, and uh, I'll continue to learn. I'm sure. Yeah, the game against Chesterfield, obviously the uh, the skills that you you did are on YouTube now. I mean, uh, I think that made yeah. your fans favourite straight away, didn't it? That's what you did, pretty much the flick of the hat. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> that must have been enjoyable as well. Uh, yeah, it's nice um, putting to use some uh, homemade skills once in a while. It's nice, and when they come off and uh, create goals, that's. That's why I use them. Is, it, is that what you've practiced all, all through your life, skills like that, to, to try and put them into practice? Yeah, one of the things, but I think I've spent more time than others practicing on them. When, when, did, you, when did you start thinking about you know, practicing skills like that? Have you done that from a very early age? Or? Uh, it's, I always like going past players, but I think it was first when I was seven or eight, I went to a curve coaching um, uh, what's it called? soccer school. And I bought one of the DVDs with about 35 skills uh, and uh, I just watched them, um, wrote them all on a piece of paper and then looked at the video and brought the paper to the training pitch and just uh, practiced on them until this day. I'm still practicing the skills. So you've got 34 more to do then? Yeah, I've added some of my own, so it's for about 40 or something now. And, and obviously the reaction back home in Norway has, has been massive as well, hasn't it, in terms of the, the fans obviously sharing the videos, and, and that must be great for you to know that they're watching your progress. So can you repeat that? The, back in Norway, obviously the, um, the, the people are watching you closely and, and seeing your goals. It must be nice that they're showing such a great interest. Uh, yeah, it's nice, and uh, just to show uh, people what I'm about in Norway. I play in England, so... Uh, so it's good the internet, yeah, great thing. And on Saturday, um, it's the FA Cup, um, again a competition that I imagine you you knew from back home in Norway. It's a special competition. Yeah, it's a competition I've watched since I was young. Uh, big teams and um, uh, Peterborough team from League One. Hopefully, we can uh, be one of the small teams to to go on far.